What's going on guys? I've got here a 2005 Honda Odyssey and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the starter relay, some of the fuses for the starter, and I'm also gonna give you some basic troubleshooting steps for things to check out when your Honda Odyssey is not starting. So to begin, you know, if your engine is not turning over when you're in park, try shifting into neutral. These cars have a safety system that will not allow you to start the car when you're not in park or neutral. And sometimes that switch can get worn out. So uh, try neutral if park does not work. If you're able to start in neutral but not park, then it could be that you need a new safety, a new, a new neutral safety switch. Now let's move under the hood. This is where we can find two starter fuses. It's gonna be over on the passenger side. So there's a fuse box here. You remove by squeezing these tabs together and lifting upward. So let's take a look. The fuses themselves, they're not conventional fuses. They're actually kind of fuse assemblies. The first one is a 120 amp fuse that comes off of the battery. So it's built into this junction right here. That in turn feeds a 50 amp fuse, which is here. This sends power to the ignition switch. Now, while you're here, you wanna go ahead and make sure that all of these Phillips connections are tight. I've seen instances where loose connection at these points can cause intermittent problems with your car not starting. Now, I've gone ahead and removed these just to show you uh, what they look like. So to remove this one, you loosen this Phillips right here, and there's also two plastic tabs on either side of the fuse that you push away from the fuse. So there's one there, there's another one here. Those get pushed away. So now here we are looking at the fuse itself and we're interested in the right hand side. That is the one that feeds the ignition switch and this is what it should look like. Now I'm gonna show you the other fuse which I've also removed. This one there are two Phillips screws to loosen. And again, there are two different tabs that you push away from the body of the fuse to allow you to slide it up. And on this one, we're interested in the upper portion of the fuse. That is what an intact fuse looks like. So just in case you have to check these or replace them, I've shown you how to do so. Now, as I've mentioned, power comes off of this 50 amp fuse and it goes to the ignition switch. When you turn the key to the start position, the ignition switch sends that power to the starter relay. So let's take a look at where that starter relay is. We can access it, it's behind this kick panel. So you wanna slide out this cover right here, uh, pull this piece out, and there is a tab that you pull away. This blue tab right here, you pop that out. Now, folding this down, we can see here is the starter relay. It's the furthest relay from us, closest to the firewall. Now, my favorite way to troubleshoot relays is I'll have someone turn the key and, to try to start the car. And while they're doing that, I'll come in here and I'll actually tap on this relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping them, you can get them to start working again. Now, further troubleshooting, what you can also do is remove the relay and re replace it with a similar relay. So all of these black relays here, they're the same part number. So we can pull this out and we could swap in any number of relays. A good one to swap in would be your power window relay here. If your power windows work, you know your power window relay works. So that would be a good candidate to swap in. And uh, here's a closer look at the starter relay itself. Now, as I've mentioned, the ignition switch provides power to the relay when you turn the key to the start position. The neutral safety switch, as I mentioned earlier, it actually provides a ground to this when you're in park or in neutral. So both of those must work together in order for this relay to get energized. And when this relay does get energized, what it does is it takes that power from the ignition switch and it sends it directly to the starter in order for it to be engaged. So let's take a look at the starter location. Someone's been taking parts off of this car, which actually gives us a great opportunity to examine where the starter is. Uh, normally there'd be a battery up here, 
And while you're in this area, you'll wanna go ahead and inspect your battery connections. Make sure that they're clean, tight, and free of corrosion. Now this cable here, this is what carries power to the starter. So this carries just straight battery power. It's constantly there. This connector, the black-white connector, that actually carries the signal from the starter relay to engage that starter. So if you're able to isolate this, you can disconnect it from the starter. If this is receiving power when you are attempting to start the car, then you know that your ignition switch and your starter relay are all working fine. Um, if this is not receiving power, then there could be something going on. Now, if power comes through here, but your starter does not turn over, it's very likely that your starter itself could be failed. And uh, it's just held in with these two bolts here. I believe they're 17 millimeter. So yeah, I hope that this information has been helpful for you, or at the very least a good starting point in troubleshooting your Honda Odyssey. Please do let me know down below if you have any questions or advice, and thanks for watching.